Hi, you guys. If you guys saw my last attempt to go live, you saw that we had major technical difficulties. So I'm giving this one more try today. This morning we tried three different times. I was trying for 45 minutes. So we're gonna try this one more time. If I start getting some errors, connectivity errors, then we're just gonna give up. I'm so sorry. So if I start cutting in and out, just be patient. I'm gonna try and get this to work this time. Um, but I am going on vacation tomorrow. And so while I'm sitting here doing laundry and packing my food and packing clothes for my family, I um, thought I'd share some of my favorite travel tips with you guys. So first of all, while we're getting, letting people get on here, um, there are different kinds of vacations, okay? So I have chosen for this trip to stay perfectly on my meal plan, okay? So that you do, I'm not saying everyone has to do that when they go on vacation because definitely people need mental vacations too and just a break from, from the norm. My phone is sliding. Sorry, let's stand this up a little bit better. There. <laughs> um, so for example, let's say you've been saving your money for a long, long time and you're going on a cruise or an all-inclusive resort or something where food is going to be central to your experiences. I definitely think that you should um, have some different strategies than what I'm going to share with you today. So on those kind of trips, you should really focus on eating more intuitively and eating um, only when you're hungry and stopping before you get full. Um, so those are different kind of strategies, okay? There's also the kind of trip where, um, like let's say you're going to visit family and you're going to have a car, you can go to a store, um, you can use the fridge, you can use a kitchen. So let's say that kind of trip you want to just pretend like you were at home and just eat the same kind of foods that you would eat if you were at home, okay? So my family is going to New York, and so we're going to, well, we're going to New York. I got a gun, let's go to a Broadway show. Mukulaka hiki, come on, you wanna lay me, pass the point, mahalo. What movie is that? Oops, somebody, somebody name the movie. I'm not gonna continue until someone names the movie. Okay, never mind. it's Wayne's World. Maybe someone named the movie and I'm not seeing the comments because sometimes I don't see all the comments. So if you ask a question and I don't see your comment, I'm so sorry. Um, okay, I'm going to New York. If mascara, <laughs> I have lash extensions. Sorry to disappoint, but it's not mascara. I wish. Um, okay, so we're going to New York. We're spending two, yes, I'm about Wayne's World. Good job. Um, we're spending two days in Manhattan and then we're going for three days up to upstate New York visiting my in-laws. So um, we, like I said, if anyone's just getting on here, I have chosen to stay strictly on my meal plan for this trip just because I've got some goals I'm really working towards. I'm tracking um, my macros really, really closely right now and I don't want any sort of setback at all. So um, with that said, really fast, even though I am sticking strict to my plan on my vacation, my goal is to maintain. I do not by any means expect to um, drop any weight or lean out at all just because, hey, all you guys from upstate New York, I will wave to you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, I do not expect to drop any weight just because when you're traveling, things are funny and sometimes your body just kind of doesn't like to progress and that's okay. So my goal this week is to maintain by sticking strictly to my plan. So here's my tips, okay? Um, first of all, you wanna plan ahead. If you can get something with any sort of kitchen, that's awesome. Uh, if you can't, try to get a fridge. Most places have a fridge. Even if you can't get a fridge, you can go to a little store and buy a foam cooler and get ice from the ice maker and put it in baggies. So there's like literally no excuses. If you want to stay on plan on vacation, you totally can do it. No excuses, okay? So we got an Airbnb, and so we have a kitchen, but I still chose to make most of my stuff beforehand. So what I did was, um, I most, some of the meals I'm eating would be exactly the same as what I'd be having at home. So for those, I'll kind of tell you about those in a minute. For the other ones, I looked at what I was eating at home, and I tried to just swap out for more travel friendly options. Um, and then I planned it all out in my tracking app, like my fitness pal or something. 
and I just track my macros starting for Wednesday and I'm gonna eat the same thing every single day okay and I'm gonna be doing one cheat meal you guys for my cheat meal I'm having a hi Lacey I miss you I'm having a Levain's cookie give me hearts if you've had one they're so good they're so good they're like these big cookies and they're like soft and doughy on the inside and then crispy on the outside and they just like they just make you want to die and go to heaven they're so good anyway so that's Thursday but okay so my meals my meal one that I have at home right now is oats protein powder and peanut butter and so what I've been doing is I've been taking a big bowl and I've been stirring it up just like this you see my bowl Stirring it up. Stir, stir, stir it up. Stir it really good. Like that, okay? Add a little bit of almond milk until you can stir it. So I make like a no-bake cookie kind of thing. And um, <laughs> it does, I know, that's so funny. Um, and then I make, I make little balls, little protein balls. So what I've done is I've made those. Those exact same thing I have at home and I put them in baggies for my serving and I put them in the freezer. I made these like this last weekend and then I'll just take all of my baggies. Okay? Meal one. Check. Done. Okay? Meal two I've been having at home is oat bran, egg whites, and berries. Okay? What does that sound like, you guys? That sounds like so similar to muscle muffins, right? So I tweak the muffle mus muffle muff <laughs> the muffle muffin. I tweak the muffle muffin recipe, muscle muffin recipe a little bit just to fit my macros for that meal. And voila, I made chocolate muffle muffins. I put cocoa powder in and raspberries instead of blueberries. So good. I hope. I've never had this flavor variety before. So I made all of these over the weekend, stuck them in the freezer. They're rock hard. Here's a, here's a trick. Are you guys ready? Can you hear me? My first trick is make food in advance. No, I don't get bored eating the same thing every day. It makes my life so much easier, especially on vacation. Um, it's, it would be really hard to plan for on vacation and bring multiple different things for different days. So you just stick to the same thing every day makes your life so much more simple. And I do add variety to dinners. Okay, so whatever you can make in advance and freeze, do it, and then it can thaw on your flight and act as your ice packs. Can you believe it? Can you guys believe that tip? It's like life changing, right? Make your food way in advance, freeze it, then you can just throw it in your checked bag and it will act as your ice pack for the rest of your food. Yeah. You're welcome. It's a good one. Mind blown. Yes, I know. Veggies. Yes, I eat a lot of veggies while I travel and I'm gonna give you tell you what I do in a minute. All right, so this is meal two, okay? Meal three is I've got bags of chicken. This is for lunch and dinner. Um, I've grilled chicken. I actually still need to grill some more chicken. This is three ounces, okay? So I'm bringing like 12 baggies that have three ounces of chicken. And then for veggies, oh, I forgot my big bowl. You guys know those big cottage cheese containers that they sell at like Costco and Sam's? Big cottage cheese containers. I bring one of those and I make a huge salad in it. And so I just get the bagged salad. So I bought two bags of bagged salad that I'm going to throw in. I'll probably throw one in my carry-on for tomorrow. Um, and then I'll throw the other in my checked bag with my ice pack muffins. Yeah, I know. And then um, I just bring that ranch powder. Oh, I don't have it right here. It is Colonel Seasons. How do I know it's three ounces? I weighed it, yep. Um, Colonel Seasons uh, Ranch Seasoning. It's popcorn seasoning, and I put it on my salad, so you don't even need dressing, okay, with a little bit of salt. Um, and then I've got my chicken, and then I'm bringing like 15 tubs of tableside guacamole, okay? And that kind of acts as my dressing too. So I have this big salad. Uh, it takes a long time to eat, so while everyone else is eating other stuff, I can just slowly eat my salad. And then that's meal three, okay? Meal four is, what's my meal four? Oh yeah, meal four 
is my snacker meal, my finger food. So what I have here, more chicken. I'm actually bringing like 18 bags, not 12. More chicken, French beans, because these are so good to just pick and eat raw out of the baggie, and potatoes. I know that's so random, but I like cold potatoes. It's weird, I know. So I took six days worth of potatoes, diced them up, tossed them in olive oil, and roasted them this morning. Then I put them into baggies, okay? So um, I wrote some tips on my Instagram story about how to do the potatoes in bulk, but I'll tell you, tell you that really quick right now. Um, so I am doing four ounces of potatoes a day, okay? So I weighed those all first. I got a big bowl. Remember that big bowl that I was stirring in? I washed it, and I put 32 ounces of potatoes. No, I did 32 ounces, but I got my math wrong. Oh, it's because I wanted to do eight days because I wanted to have a day. I needed to make some for today and then um, also for the day after I get back. Okay, that's why. 32 ounces of potatoes, tossed it in four teaspoons of olive oil because I want half a teaspoon per serving, tossed it all up, roasted it at 400 degrees for um, like 45 minutes or so, and then, um, then I weighed it again. So then I took that all off. I don't bring very many clothes. <laughs> I just bring all food. Um, and then I weighed all of that again and divide it by eight. Okay, does that make sense? So you weigh it first, cook it, weigh it again and divide by eight. Then you put that mini in a baggie. It sounds really confusing, but it's not once you actually try it. So this is my meal four. So I can just walk around the streets of New York City just like popping cold potatoes. NBD, okay? Um, yes, all this food is in my check bag except for what I'm going to be eating tomorrow. So one of all these things will be in my carry-on. And people are like, what food can you take on the flight? You can take anything on the flight. As long as it's not yogurt. No, wait. Maybe you can take yogurt. No, I think yogurt counts as a liquid. Anything that's like food, you can take. Peanut butter does count as a li <laughs> No, TSA has never stolen my snacks. Ever. And I've done this for years and years. Um, that's funny though. And they also don't care if you bring protein powder. They don't think it looks like drugs, I promise. Um, uh, discipline, that's a good question. I'll answer that in a minute. So what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, people are like, well, what food can you bring on the flight? You can bring any and all foods on the flight. Peanut butter goes as a liquid though, so you'll want to do little tubs like this. So to, in order to keep my peanut butter in check and not go crazy, I have six of these little cups that I just buy. Potatoes are actually a very, they're very low carb right here. This is only like, this is like 20 grams of carbs, 80 calories-ish. So yeah, potatoes are totally good for you. Um, so peanut butter, this is 16 grams or one tablespoon, okay? I've got it all pre-measured out, so I'm not even bringing my food scale because I don't feel like it. So I'm weighing it all out beforehand, okay? So this is fine on a flight. A whole container of peanut butter is not fine on a flight. Does that make sense? You just wanna separate it out under three ounces, kinda of like it's a li like the liquid rule, okay? Um, okay, so that is my meal four. Um, Meal five, let's see. Yes, yeah, some people do have allergies to peanuts, but no one in my house does, so we use peanut butter a lot. Um, okay, meal four, or no, meal five is going to be more chick, actually it's the same as meal three. Um, I have no idea what we're gonna be eating for dinners. If I get somewhere and I can order something that seems like healthy and clean and I can, I can count the macros for it, then I will forego what I have brought and order something there. Like if I can get grilled chicken on a salad or something at whatever restaurant we're at, then that's what I'll do because that's just kind of fun and I would like to order with my family. Um, but if, I, if I'm somewhere and there's just nothing that I can do, then I'll have a backup, okay? So always have a backup just in case, okay? Um, and then, okay, let's see. If I eat peanut butter on the plane, if I eat peanut butter on the plane, does that affect people around me? I didn't know. I don't know. I'm sorry if I don't realize that, but I didn't realize if kids around me had peanut butter, if that affects if I'm eating it. Anyways, okay. Um, meal six is going to be, that's my protein powder and peanut butter. So I have 
baggies of protein powder, which what you could do, oh, it does. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Anyway, I don't want to go into a tangent here, but I will have to look into that. And okay, if the airline tells me it's a nut-free flight, well, anyways, this is a mute, moot point because this is going to all be in my check bag. So let's not go off on a tangent here, but that is good to know if it's a nut-free flight, I would not pull out my peanut butter. But um, okay, so I've got baggies of protein powder here that's already all weighed, or you can buy the um, pre-measured, or not pre-measured, pre-packaged individual packets of Ideal Lean. Um, and, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to talk while I'm reading your comments. So I'm just gonna talk and I'll try to go back and read your comments later. Sorry guys, it's messing up my train of thought because I'm trying to read what we're all talking about. Um, okay, so you can buy Ideal Lean has pre, has a little packets of protein powder. I actually don't have any of them right now. I usually just scoop mine out. Um, it's not the easiest way to do it. You should definitely buy one of those tubs, but I just ran out and I forgot to get some more before I left the office yesterday. So, baggies of protein powder and my peanut butter is what I'm going to have before bed at night. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to stir in some cocoa into this protein powder and stir in like a tablespoon or two of water and make like a thick paste and it is my favorite. And then I'm gonna to top with peanut butter and it's like a little fudge. It's so, so yummy. So another tip that I did, so that's my, those are my meals that I'm bringing, okay? Another tip that I did was I under tracked, okay? So I tracked a little bit less macros than I would eat at home. Like I shaved off like 15 grams of carbs, um, a little bit of protein, a little bit of fat, in case I get somewhere where I'm like, ooh, I really want to have a couple bites of that or something, and um, and I want to work it into my macros. So I'm leaving myself a little bit of leeway, but I'm bringing some rice cakes and some, um, some extra protein powder just in case I do finish my day and I'm a little bit under on my macros, then I can kind of match, um, get my macros to where they're supposed to be. So. That is what I am choosing to do on this trip. I said this in the beginning, but not everyone was here. I am not by any means saying that everyone should do this when they go on vacation, okay? Definitely, there are so many types of vacations where you should give your body and your mind a break from sticking to a strict plan, and you should focus more on intuitive eating and eating only when you're hungry and just savoring every bite and stopping before you get really full. So. That is definitely a good strategy for so many kinds of vacations. This is just me personally, what I've decided to do because I am tracking my food really strictly right now because I have a big goal coming up, um, which I can share with you guys soon, hopefully by the end of the week. Um, so this is what I'm doing. Um, one person asked, it was a great question, um, how do I stay disciplined when everyone around me is in New York eating New York food? And honestly, it's just, taken time like if it was years ago it would have been way way harder but I've been doing this eating this way for I don't know like 10 years or so so it's just gotten easier it's gotten more commonplace for me um, I found things that I love that oh that was my other tip bring foods that you love that you really want to eat so that it's not like oh I have to eat this instead of what everyone else is eating you don't want to feel like drudgery Okay, so bring foods that you really, really love. That's why I've worked chocolate into like so many of my foods that I'm bringing because I want to want to eat them, okay? Um, and yes, lifestyle, not diet, makes a huge difference. This is a lifestyle I've been living for so many years, so it's not that hard for me to apply it to vacation. But if you're new and just starting out, it is gonna be really hard, and you should expect that, and it's okay. It's okay if you go and you mess up. I spent years trying to eat healthy on vacation and throwing in the towel by day two or three. So if that happens to you, it's normal. That, that happened to me for years and years and years. Okay, so it kind of, how do I stay disciplined? Um, just keeping the goals in the front of my mind. Honestly, I've got something really big coming up in a very short amount of time, like three weeks, so I feel like I don't really have a lot of leeway at all. Um, this is not something pushed upon me. This is my own decision. So this is um, how I am going to vacation. Oh, also, I'm also bringing some Ideal Lean protein bars. 
um, as backups. I am trying to have more whole foods right now, but I'm sure that there will be times in the day when I need to just grab one of these um, and then adjust my macros later on in the day. So I've got that. Um, can I share, let's see, does the protein powder break down um, if it's after it's mixed with liquid? No, it doesn't. You can keep a shake in the fridge for a while. How do I cook my chicken? Yes, I just grill it. I don't like it baked really. Um, I love it in the crock pot, but when I'm traveling, I like to be able to, where's my baggie? I like to be able to just cut it up and eat it just grilled like this. That's what I like to do. Um, let's see. Heather is saying you can learn, yes, you can definitely learn to love healthy foods and actually like want to eat them. So that's like I was saying, it's not hard for me on vacation to, to eat this way because I'm bringing food that I really want to have. Um, do I have a protein shake every night? Do you put peanut butter in it every time? Um, I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. Ah, my phone's falling. Secret, you ready? I haven't drank a protein shake in like years. That's my secret. Because what I do with it is I make it into this super yummy fudge. And if you've done my challenges, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you just add like a little bit of cocoa and a little bit of water, like a tablespoon or so. And it's like legit fudge, you guys. Seriously, it's so good. I haven't had a shake since because I want to savor that fudge. You can put it in the freezer and it lasts even longer. You can top it with peanut butter and it's even better. So, so good. So good. Okay, are my green beans cooked or raw? Um, these French beans, you can like, I bring them raw, and I love eating them raw, but um, you can throw them in the microwave for like 60 seconds and it will, it will warm them up. Do I carry freezer packs to keep my food cold? So if you got on late, I'm gonna tell you guys my trick, okay? Because if you got on, you, ha you can't miss this trick, okay? So what you do is you make a whole bunch of your food way beforehand, and then you freeze it, freeze your food, okay? And then it acts, and then it thaws on the day that you're traveling, and it acts as your ice packs. Can you believe it? Yeah, acts as your ice packs. So these are muscle muffins that I made. Um, I made them this weekend. I put them in the freezer. They're still like rock hard solid, and they've been out on this counter for a little while. Um, and they're gonna act as my ice packs. I'm gonna put them in my checked bag. I'm gonna put them like right next to all my other stuff. And it's gonna be just fine. My food's gonna be totally, totally fine. Um, people are asking for the recipes for the fudge and the muffins. They are in my 15 day challenge. So, here's a little plug. If you don't have my 15 day challenge, go to, you ready to write this down? Idealfit.com slash 15 dash day dash fit dash body dash challenge dot list and I'll put it in the post above too okay um, if I don't use the shake what else do I do well I use the protein powder like two or three times a day I just don't make a shake with it so I mentioned this a couple other times in the video so you could rewind and just see I just um, mix a little bit of water in and make like a paste so anyways you guys I think let me see oh one more thing be aware of your appetite okay because you're gonna wanna stay full and people around you are snacking, you don't wanna be hungry. So this is a time, don't hate me for this, okay? If I get a whole bunch of thumbs downs, I don't even care, okay? Grab your Diet Coke, girlfriend. Sip on it, it's fine, all right? If you're anti-Diet Coke, just la 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 la, close your ears, okay? But if, it might make you feel a little bit bloated, but it's better than, than cheating and eating a bunch of food that you wish you wouldn't have, okay? Or bring your ideal boost. If you look at my bag right here, I've got tons of boost, okay? This is what I like to use when I'm feeling hungry and um, I don't want to have a Diet Coke or if I just don't wanna have just water, I will have my boost, okay? One last tip is bring yourself a little treat. These Hershey Kisses, you guys, are like the best. They are the truffle kisses, okay? So if you, do I have any eggs on my vacation? Uh, I've never traveled with eggs. I'm sure you could though. Um, or you could cook them there, but I don't, I just don't want to. So um, these kisses, I'm having two each night 
if I do a good job on my day, then I'm having two kisses. That's what I'm doing, okay? So, all right, you guys. Those are my tips. I hope that you guys like them. Um, I'm gonna try to go through here and answer the questions that I got, but um, to be totally honest, I'm really slammed today because we have to leave at like 5 a.m. tomorrow with the whole family. So if I don't get your question, forgive me. I'm so, so sorry. And I will see you guys later.